Yeah, it's recording now. Is it? Yeah. Well, we've got to take your sunglasses off, see? <laughs> no, yeah. it's too bright. Alright. It's going to be a sunglass video today. It's uh, too bright for without sunglasses. Fair enough. Yeah. So today's topic, uh, we just did some work on... Uh, we did some work? Really? Yeah, getting our uh, <laughs> sites back to... Or, well, to prevent and stop working with PayPal. IPM. And so you got to update it. So yeah, anybody out there, if you have any PayPal buttons out there, you know, that um, rely on the IPN routine, the instant, uh, what's it? Instant payment, payment notification. notification system, right? There's a little update that you should have received an email from PayPal that you need to update the, the scripts that you use it. Now, the thing is, if you're not a programmer, or if you're using like some kind of fixed finished scripts that you got, like, like, it's not rep, supported anymore, like rep action scripts, or what's the one that you use there? Uh, what's JV Manager, JV Manager, Butterfly Marketing, etc. Yeah, that's et a really old button. I don't think they use these. Any, any script out there that uses PayPal and that is confirming back to your system that uh, payment has been done, let's pro uh, fulfill the product delivery via IPN, they need to be updated. Yeah, it's a little bit technical, but uh, yeah, if you're you using JVZoo and stuff, order fulfillments like that, then you don't really need to worry. No, I'm pretty it. sure they'll update it. That's the advantage if you use like, a, like or ClickBank Third or whatever, party right? shopping you know? script or cart. Yeah. If you use ClickBank or JVZoo or stuff like this, then yep, yeah, you're fine. They'll take care of it for you. But if you use a script hosted on your own domain, it's up to you yeah. or your webmaster. Right? Yeah. So um, just something that you should take off. What was the date on that before? September? The date, I didn't take notice, but uh, it was September first week, first week of September. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like in a week and a, a week and yeah. a half or two weeks or something. Yeah, right. So uh, just something to be aware of. So that's the news. Quick info just on this first. So I thought you know some people might give you might a quick update, something fresh. Might have missed it or so, you know. Yeah. And then uh, the thing is, you know, you still gotta collect the money from the people, but the problem is if your products don't get delivered, eh, gonna cause a bit of a trouble, problem, uh, trouble there with your customers if they don't get it automatically. Yeah. Um, yeah, what else? What else happened? What else is in the news? Well, we did the M2, we talked about email copy. Yeah. And why you should uh, not spam. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> Basically yeah, in general. <laughs> I kind of started to go a little bit ranting on, on about, you know, uh, buying leads and why that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, it seems like it's very tempting to buy like a, a pack of like 10,000 subscribers and then just importing it. Buyer leads even, whatever they call it. Yeah, right? we don't, we're not even sure because it's so, I don't know, it's back, back then we used to do it I guess a couple of times just to experiment but the response years, wasn't years, as good. Years and years ago I tried that too. Yeah, buying, best way is to build leads. it from scratch. So then they give you, you know, you want permission based email marketing. And, and the, the problem is mainly because the, the Similar like Google did the Google slaps, you know, the penguin and panda and uh, ant eater or whatever they call them, you know, yeah. the different slaps. <laughs> uh, no, the same way the ISP is kind of slapping now nowadays, or like with Google like just Gmail and did with their switch to the priority inbox versus the promotional box versus you know updates, etc. And um, obviously, if you do permission-based email marketing, you need to have your unsubscribe link in there, right? And, that's yeah. for Google so easy, or for using, Gmail so easy to see. The most popular autoresponders like Aweber and GetResponse and shouldn't have to worry, or MailChimp, it's whatever always in there, right, the unsubscribe link. Yeah. But the thing is for Gmail and also for the other ISPs like Yahoo and Hotmail and whatever, no, they, they can all tell so easily now that it's like a promotional message that way. And uh, they put your message then under promotions, you know. Yeah. And the only way out of there is basically to be open about it and ask your basically your subscribers to uh, you know make sure it doesn't end up in spam. Well, yeah, not only spam, but only the also the the promotional the box. Inbox. The promotional box. Promotion. You don't want to get there. You know, you want to get into the the priority inbox. And the way is, is like basically to just tell them outright. You know, hey, thanks for subscribing. Just to make you know, yeah. make sure that you don't miss my messages. Make sure that you check if you're using Gmail. Check into your uh, into your promotional box or spam even. Right? Yeah, most likely will end up there. And then move it over to your uh, priority inbox. And then there's actually it actually asks you at that point, do you always want me to put these messages from this person into your priority inbox? Yes. And you just click on yes. That'll be great. I mean, if your emails land in their priority inbox, you get so That's much more attention. They open pretty much all your emails. A lot more. Okay. Yeah. So it's good to tell them exactly what to do, and that's where the call to action comes in. 
yeah, even yeah, even if somebody subscribes and instead of just sending them to him, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, give them specific instructions, exactly like baby steps. Especially, you know, like if you do double opt in anyway, you're gonna show them like this, you know, hey, uh, please you confirm. Need to... Here's how it's gonna look like. Yeah, so right. look and for then, an email like that. And then you can also give them right at that point instructions. And I'm I'm sure it, I'm not sure if Aweber isn't doing that already. They're probably gonna add that to their uh, double opt in page soon. Yeah, you know how to make it priority inbox. Because otherwise, um, yeah, some people email marketing is going to be a little bit uh, trickier. Yeah, less, yeah, trickier, I guess. Well, the thing is, the thing is like this: um, it forces us to do it the right way of building a relationship with your subscribers and really, uh, you know, teaching them how to do it. Right, and versus, creating a brand as well. Yeah, and versus just buying getting, leads. And yeah, then, getting them to know you, like you, and trust you. And then yeah. spray and pray, right? <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's a hard way. I mean, I mean, easy to buy, but hard to actually keep and um, get engagement from. In in the early internet marketing times that used to be all oh, no big deal and work that way. Yeah. Nowadays we need to be a little bit more um, yeah. we both guilty of it. it. So but not something we, we use these days obviously. Yeah, I mean it's just things change, really right? To. Things 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 move on and <clears throat> obviously the ISPs like Gmail etc they want to protect their customers, the the people that use their email clients or their email systems, right? They want to protect them from emails that they didn't ask for. And yes, they opted into your list, but it's still promotional, right? So when we send them stuff, uh, it's not like you're sending your mom and dad or your grandpa or grandma an email. It's really you know, a marketing message. And mm. Gmail just basically filters you automatically into marketing, which is in their case called a promotional. Yep. So uh, to get around it, be open, talk to people. Hey, you know, I want to make sure that you see my messages all the time. Make sure to do, move it over into your uh, priority inbox and it's all going to be fine. And people will do that. If they want to see a message, if they're interested in what you have to say, they'll do that. And those that don't want to see a message, it. I mean, hey, you're not going to convert well with them anyway, right? Yeah. Okay, we got there. That's it. But time we'll make another video on the way back. Time for a sub. <laughs> Subway. Oh. Subway videos. Are you McDonald's, right? <laughs> uh, anything, whatever. Okay <laughs> then, have a good one. See you later.